Hi again, everybody. It's Kevin Knessa coming to you from the newsroom of The Observer and TheObserver.com on this, the 27th day of October in the year 2022. It is possible tomorrow, Friday, October 28th, that parts of Kearney Avenue may be shut down at a few times during the course of the day. And I kind of want to just give you a brief explanation as to why that might happen. The photo you see here is of Raleigh, North Carolina police officer Gabriel Torres. Officer Torres was killed earlier this month in a mass shooting in Raleigh, North Carolina by a 15-year-old boy. I think there were six other casualties that day as well. And though there has been a funeral already in Raleigh, North Carolina, Officer Torres has family in the area, and tomorrow uh, morning at 11 a.m., his funeral mass will be celebrated at St. Stephen's Church in Kearney. And the Thiel family funeral home is hosting Officer Torres's New Jersey wake today. And he was a young guy, I believe he was 29 years old uh, when he was killed. Just an absolute, absolute tragedy. But unfortunately, uh, Police Chief King doesn't know, and there's really no way to tell, how many police officers will be in Kearney tomorrow for the funeral liturgy. And as such, there is a possibility that Kearney Avenue may need to be shut down at points during the day tomorrow around 11 o'clock and then after when the funeral procession will make its way up to Holy Cross Cemetery in North Arlington. But uh, the chief did say that he had phone calls from police departments across the country. Uh, I think he mentioned West Virginia or Virginia and, and different spots along the way. And if a lot of police officers do come, it may be necessary to shut down Kearney Avenue uh, for traffic purposes. Now, if it's not as busy as uh, one might expect a police officer's funeral to be, the chief did say they're going to try to keep Kearney Avenue open at least in one lane where you can alternate traffic going north and south to and from North Arlington. So we'll see what happens there. But just keep in mind tomorrow morning in the late 10 o'clock hour, the 11 o'clock hour, and probably the noon hour, it's possible you may not be able to get anywhere near Kearney Avenue because of this funeral mass that will be celebrated at St. Stephen's. Again, a terrible, terrible tragedy. I remember seeing this on the news, but had no idea that Officer Torres had a connection to the area. I believe he has family who live in Newark and they're very close by. And of course, the wake in New Jersey because he uh, was on duty in North Carolina. That's where he was on the job. In fact, he was off duty when he was shot and killed, uh, horrifyingly. And he grew up mostly in Jackson, New Jersey, but has a lot of family in this neck of the woods. So that's why they had a funeral, which was very, very moving in North Carolina, but they're also going to have one here tomorrow. So please keep that in mind so that if you happen to be anywhere near Kearney Avenue, I'd say between 1045, 1030, and maybe 1230, it's possible you may be detoured. And if you're wondering why, this is the reason why. So we wanted to let you know, God rest his soul, Officer Gabriel Torres. And that's uh, what we have to let you know for now. From the newsroom of The Observer and TheObserver.com, it's Kevin Canessa. I'm going to sign off for now, and I'll see you back here again very, very soon. Take care, everybody.